Hey everybody and welcome back to the Michael Tyree Music Channel and today we're going to talk about this guitar again um, and what it's like to own it for a year and my thoughts about it. I won't go into the specs too much other than uh, it's got a mahogany back, walnut with purple heart on the neck and a royal ebony fingerboard spruce top and some wood knobs going into a Vobox cable straight into the XFX into my interface and into Reaper for this. Um, this is my go-to tone that I've developed with this guitar. And I gotta say, I love this thing. Uh, I use it for everything. I just used it on my latest album on almost every song and uh, there'll be a link for that down in the description if you want to check out that music. But as far as I'm concerned, this is a great guitar, and if I was to purchase another one, I would. I mean, I, they make a seven-string version, and I think that would be really cool to have that, you know, that low B in there, or whatever you tune your strings to. And uh, I'm just gonna play through a little bit. You can kind of hear my tone. Uh, I'll change a couple tones on here that we can get an idea of what you can do. But it's a really versatile guitar. volume knob here and a couple tone knobs and if you roll this one here back it kind of gives you more of that piezo sound pretty aggressive not the biggest fan roll it off about midways I just do a eighth turn. And of course, your volume. Uh, the hip shot hardware is awesome. The tuners are easy to move and it stays in tune great. You even got this little place up here to uh, put your capo on, which is nice. Um, Kiesel Guitars did a great job with this. It's great to take it to gigs too. I mean, it's so small. You can throw your pedal board in the bag that it comes with, which is a great little soft case. Plug right into the PA and go. They offer a lot of different options, and this is more or less a, a bass model of this guitar. Um, If I did get another one, I'd probably opt for a, uh, a nicer top. Uh, maybe like a flamed maple or a koa top. Let's uh, try a different tone here. Completely different tone. really well 
um, I was really surprised and I actually ended up using this guitar for a lot of distorted tones on my record as opposed to my other guitars um, which also I have an old Carvin that I used and I like that guitar as well which is one of the reasons why I bought this just the playability the neck is perfect um, it's just so stable and I don't think I've adjusted the truss rod in this guitar and it's still just as good as it came from the factory a year ago. <laughs> So this is kind of a, about as clean. small. It's really light. I think it's like two and a half pounds. It does have the fan fret um, option. You can get that or you cannot. Whatever your preference is. I kind of like it myself. Let's go to a random setting on the axe effects and just see what it does. Well, maybe not that one. Tumbleweeds. It's a pretty cool tone. in space. out there it works for you too So, you really sound a lot like a regular electric guitar when you're going through all these tones. Which makes it really versatile because you can record a track where it has distortion, clean tones, acoustic tones, and a lead tone all in one. And you never have to change your guitar. For me, that's really great. Uh, it makes for quick work when you're recording. And it's just a great instrument. I uh, highly recommend it. Go check out Kiesel Guitars and... If you like the video, click the subscribe. Thank you.